hello there, humans of these Earth Leagues, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing and whoever you're lucky enough to be doing it to. I'm Bushcron Blitz and I'm back with a little bit of love and affection. It's the Doom Turtle Hurdle. Uh, and gee, this thing's slow. <laughs> There's a reason I'm driving this. In case you didn't know, the cable between Sydney and Singapore has been uh, in a bad way of late. I uh, don't know what the hell's going on. If someone went fishing with dynamite again, you terrible Indonesian humans there. Uh, no, I don't think that's what happened. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but whatever the case is, we are all going through one very, very small cable uh, to the Blitz server from Australia, and it has caused amazingly large ping spikes and very, very high average ping. So what I've been doing in the past few days is mucking around a bit and actually having a lot of fun in Blitz, driving big, fat, slow tanks uh, and seal clubbing. And that's caused me to go back to a few oldies but goldies, namely the Doom Turtle. Look at this thing. I've discovered a few things about this tank that I really didn't consider before. Um, one of them is that it takes so long to get to the front that I actually have more time to have a chat to people like FJ45 you just saw there. Uh, so I'm talking to people more in game. Um, and I get time to listen to more music because I'm mucking around on Spotify while I'm playing. Uh, I get time to do all kinds of things. You multitask in the Doom Turtle because it's so slow and it's so aggressively... You know what? This is the most like actual war, I think, that a tank could possibly be. If you were just a bloke who was a soldier or something doing an enormous amount of training and sitting around and sleeping and doing nothing, followed by moments of incredible violence, that's what this tank is. You are driving to the front for about three and a half hours and then finally you get there and everyone doesn't want to be in front of you and wants to go somewhere else and you just basically bash them. Why? Because you're the Doom Turtle. <laughs> you've got a whole incredible amount of armor and you've got this gun that really, really goes well. The 155mm AT Gun T7 is what we're talking about here, baby. Some people like Swiss Cheese, I think it was, used to play it on the 120. Look, I'm always talking. I can drive forward at 14 kilometers an hour and talk smack to the enemy. Mano in mano. It's just him and me. <laughs> he doesn't know what the hell's going on. I've been chattering at him for the last 100 meters while I drove forward towards him. And I finally nut him and he's just like, WTF? I got nothing better to do. I'm the last bloke left. I'm coming for you. I'm telling I'm coming. We'll see how we go. <laughs> I've had so many games of 4 to 5k. I've also had a whole heap of games of 0 to 0k, where everyone is dead and a medium gets behind me in spawn, puts my pants down and spanks me silly. And that's the joy and the absolute despair of driving a tank that is possibly less mobile than a mother-in-law on Christmas Day. There's only one thing <laughs> worse than seeing um, seeing this thing coming towards you, and that's a tax collector working overtime. No one wants to catch this tank in an angry spot in a very, very small tunnel. You're going to see this ISA, despite the fact there's all these other tanks that want to kill him, is just going to basically drive forward past me to get away, rather than get stuck going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the turtle hurdle. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was terrible. It was great. There's not many tanks in the game that have such a huge disparity between the start and the top end of the uh, the playing field and the low end of the playing field. What you get is a tank that, when it's in the right situation, is just an absolute knock them down, sock them out, beast mode tank. And when it's in the wrong situation, is the worst tank in its tier. I mean, that's a fairly diverse range of uh, human response. I found it to be incredibly successful on maps like this, where I was really, really aggressive and terrible, terrible, terrible at maps like uh, Desert Sands or Oasis Palms when you get in the wide open bits. You, and if everyone goes out to those kind of fields, you quite often just get left for dead. It's got a lot of good things about it. It's got great armor frontally. It's got very, very troll rear armor. Um, when people COD you, they sometimes make the mistake of going right next to your butt, and the actually gun goes at such an angle that it just bounces off. But look, don't worry about any of that. Drive it forward. This is the best review ever. And it's not even really a review. <laughs> it's just a general op-ed piece on the Doom Turtle. Drive forward. 
don't stop driving forward until someone gets in your way. And when they get in your way, start pressing the button that has the bullet on it until they're either dead or you're dead. And that's the entire gameplay style of the Doom Turtle. What else can it do? Well, not much. It's it's a good sniper. The gun with all the bits and pieces on it goes 0.344 dispersion, but that's not very good. It just, it, I mean, it's a, got a fairly wide traverse arc on the gun, so that's good. It's got excellent camouflage. I don't know if you knew that, but despite the fact that it's like 3 million tons and goes nowhere fast, it's got fantastic camo. And the other thing it's got, being a 155mm gun, is a 960 average alpha high explosive shell and if you can gear that up with uh, some tanks that have less than 9 mm, 90 millimeters of armor which is your HE pen you can have yourself an awfully good time um, heavy tanks hate this thing when it's driving towards them because it's the ultimate hit point trader you've got to concentrate and sit still to make sure you hit the hatches which are terrible watch this here we go HE town Yep, yeah, 998, no worries. What about we give it to a T32? American tanks, if you see their butts, load HE and watch the hilarity commence. Woo! <laughs> like deep in my plums. And don't you love the new American auto loaders? That's a tier 9 heavy. And we're going to hit him for a 1,052 side on. Yep, nothing like a bit of armor on a T54 E1. The T95, now I'm going to show you one game. And it's not because it's a particularly good game. It's just a game I had a tremendous amount of fun in. Um, one of the reasons I've been enjoying this tank is the Spartan uh, hot gates. You know, the 300 versus the million. Everyone's coming at you. And <laughs> you've either got to kill everyone or die. And you're generally going to die. And I'm going to die in this game. But... It's a glorious death. It's an honourable death for both me and my family. Now, this is another one of those maps where you kind of can't push forward uh, unless you're really confident in your team. Because if you push up and anyone comes from any other position, um, one, it takes forever to get there. And two, if you try and go around that corner at the top of the hill, you're going to struggle. You've got plenty of pen on your APCR, 320, so I'm going to go to APCR and go straight through the mantlet of the IS-6. Happy days with that. Um, we're now looking at the hill, and there's a Centurion 1. He's going to get a new lease of life here. That should have gone straight through the oh-so-succulent sides of the Cent 1. Um, this is how you play the Doom Turtle, guys. You're either driving forward and pressing the button, or you're sitting in spawn pressing the button. There's not a lot of maneuverability in those two. Uh, much like it's either amazing or it's really bad, uh, this is kind of it. Your extreme sense of gameplay. Um, and I'm just sitting back here, and I'm wiggling around all the time. You've got excellent camouflage, and you've got really, really good frontal armor. And if someone's going to pen you at this range, they're going to do very, very well. 640 average alpha on your 155mm gun, which is an awful big dose of hurt and makes people stop and think about how much they love their tank. Um, but you can see the rest of the team isn't really doing much. I don't know if they just got outclassed or had bad games, but they didn't particularly step up to the plate and do the business. Um, as such, the red guys took the hill and then everyone else got hashtag deleted, uninstalled the game and was back in the garage in no time. Now, I can't whinge too much because I couldn't be further back if I did in fact uninstall the game. Uh, and that's just kind of the curse of the Doom Turtle. That guy is gone there, but I'm going to take one out for the good. <laughs> that may be the only tank that gets taken out this entire game, and that was me. Um, and here they come. Everyone else is dropping like flies. This was my favorite thing in the game all day. Uh, going to hit this bugger, and then I'm going to shout my immortal challenge very soon. T-34 is calling us all noobs. <laughs> I'm just saying, come at me, bros. Come on if you think you're hard enough. I give it to the ISU-152. It's all over, Red Rover. This is the essence of this tank. You've played well, but there's six guys left on the red team. They all know where you are, and they're coming out of the walls, alien style. Then some grub will get behind you, and you'll bounce a shot, and that's it. 
Sayonara. I'm Bush Girl Blitz. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you can consider sponsoring the channel, that'd be lovely. There'll be a link up here uh, during the game. Click on that if you want to become a sponsor. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope you're enjoying the new MacBook editing. I'm going to be doing a heap of giveaways in streams over the Christmas period. Basically, Wargaming want us streamers to give away the gold and let the world know about the love, and I will be doing that. So if you see me streaming, jump on, get in the uh, in the chat, and wish me Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or Seasons Greetings. And I'm going to randomly pick some humans and throw gold their way. I think it's 500 gold. And I've got a bunch of it to give out. So make sure you pop along to that. And that should be a great, great giggle. Uh, until next time, boys and girls, look after your families. Drive the Doom Turtle at a hurdle. Uh, and just enjoy yourselves in general. God knows I do. Stay safe on the battlefield. Ta-ta!